Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to check out a game that I'm looking forward to playing, Narita Boy. Now this is on Steam, but it's also coming over to Game Pass very soon. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, you'll be able to play it on there. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored gameplay video. So thanks very much to Catapult for sponsoring this video. Check out the link down below for more information. We're going to play about an hour of this, which I'm definitely looking forward to checking this game out. Yeah, music. Oh. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Alright, new game. Connecting with Narita 1. So this game uses an autosave feature. Don't close the game. Oh, you can see the icon. Let me check my controller real quick. Make sure I'm plugged in. So yeah, I've been looking forward to checking this game out for quite some time. I think it has a real cool, like... Dap punk type of vibe. Look at this. 80s. Uh oh, we're a hacker man. What's going on here? Uh oh. Some samurai stuff going on. No? <laughs> These are cool, like neo retro, like vector 80s. Silent Eclipse, the creator has forgotten him, has returned. What? Activate the Narita Boy protocol. Narita Boy protocol activated. Listen to that music. Damn, son. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Same time on the outskirts of Old York. The kid just playing on his, uh, his computer. All right. <laughs> Turn off that little machine and go straight to bed or tomorrow I'm giving it back to your father. That's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen. I hear you on that. Go to sleep now. Goodness. So we're going to bed. Uh-oh. Look at this animation. This is like I'm watching an anime or something. Like a pixel sprite anime. You're gonna turn me to the Naruto boy? Yo. Look at that. Arrival in the digital kingdom. Look at these graphics, and it has like a filter effect that makes it look like you're looking at a TV. Alright, so it's WASD. I thought I would have controller. But it looks like I have to do WASD, which that's all right. All right, so what do these guys want? F. Just in time, Narita boy. The flag we programmed with the call hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble the switch and force your entry through segments of old code. This region is barely controlled by the hacker nods. You can travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his hacker knots are tirelessly running through lines of code to try and find you. Pressing this button will open the door. Inside waiting for you is a holographic module of motherboard. Protective mother of us and all the programs in the digital kingdom. She's in the capital of the digital kingdom, sustained in the trick Roma, overseeing code, closing breaches and fixing bugs. Since the arrival of the stallions, the digital kingdom's code has been unstable. The Trichroma Beam 2. So.
Open the door. All right. W. All right, I got an achievement just for doing that. Go down on platforms, so S in space. All right, jump. W. Look at this. This is crazy. Motherboard, this is a pre-recorded message for the true instance digital hero Narita Boy. I am Motherboard, supervisor, programmer of the digital kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the Trichroma. I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the digital kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received our call and have decided to come to our aid. Welcome. What you see is the visual metaphor of the trichoma, the beam that emanates from its core, the three rays that rise up from our kingdom source code. Each beam has a definite function and occupies a specific region of the kingdom. Each beam is a computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. These systems are called the houses of the trichoma, and there are three of them, just as there are three creator beams. The yellow house beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation, the blue house beam, the regions of the eternal rains and the blue simulation. And finally, the red house beam, the most powerful and disruptive house of all. The red house beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the red house. We defeated him and he was expelled from the red beam along with other programs known as stallions. But they've returned, Narita boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with trichroma beams, able to destroy Stallion Code. This sounds pretty cool. You must go to the Techno Father's Castle, the supervisor programs who forged the Techno Sword. You must claim it from them and free us from the Stallion Menace. But that is not all we ask. Him has inflicted still more damage. All right, <laughs> this is uh, an interesting premise for a game. So we got to go to the Techno F Father's Castle. F. This is him, the sorcerer, our old supervisor brother from the House of the Red Beam. He's caused huge disruption. Motherboard will explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double ansible to contact her. Whenever you find a holographic console, you can communicate with Motherboard. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent him hacker knots from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. Oh, look at this dude. Immense sorrow runs through my code seeing how the first of the creator's 13 memories have been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory and thus keep the source code updated. Now we need them because him has erased the creator's memories, the 13 that make up his meta neuronal network. The creator can't remember. The creator has forgotten that he sustains this kingdom and because he's forgetting and the equilibrium in the trachoma threatens to fail, him and his stallions have once again invaded us. How he managed to erase his memories, we don't know. It's a mystery that maybe you'll solve as you travel through him. You'll be a psychonaut and a hero. But remember, if the creator permanently forgets, the digital kingdom will be lost. Him will control the powerful red beam, subjugating us to his darkest desires. The trichoma will be destabilized and will be under his rule. Even if you kill thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code that is gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the 12 remaining totems, piece together the code, and journey within them. Only by unlocking them can the creator retrieve his memory, so hurry. 
One last thing, son of the Trichroma. It's not possible to travel to the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The 12 remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the digital kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild this first totem. We'll be eternally grateful to you if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. All right, so lots of reading. So, where are we running off to? That looks weird. Whoa. Look at this. Lots of weird, like, flashy graphics and stuff. Naruto boy, we haven't introduced ourselves. My brother programs and I are agents of the capital. Motherboard coded us to move through the digital kingdom, investigating the mysteries of our kingdom source code. We also help any program in the digital kingdom adjust its code where necessary. I wanted to warn you about this simple but malicious stallion script that surges up from the ground. Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I just died. Trying to run and platform jump on a, on a keyboard is, is tough. Let go. All right. So I'm learning. There we go. I gotta climb up. I do not want to, uh, to touch that thing, but I guess I can as long as it's gone. There we go. All right. <laughs> What's this? That's weird. That's suspicious. Access to Baba's cave. Oh yes, you'll need a techno key to go through this door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Inside them is an age-old program as ancient as motherboard. An old woman known as Baba, who by the way is very pleasant. All the programs of this region know her and she'll safeguard everything that is entrusted to her. Help the techno fathers and priests of the portal. It's a lot to, uh, to digest in here right now, isn't it? Oh, look at this, the Techno Father's Castle. Very 80s sounding with the synth, I like that. Zombie, how do I defend myself? Or do I just avoid... I guess I just avoid homeboys? Oh, here we go. No, I thought that was a sword or something. Alright, so that's just telling me that's where the sword's at. Alright, look at this. This is like some Tron. <laughs> The Riddle Boy, access to the underground gardens restricted. You'll find access techno key in the higher levels of the castle. Okay. So we're going up the elevator. The priest portal. The 
Naruto boy, I'm sorry I'll not be with you at this time. I must sustain the harmony of the trichoma from the capital of the digital co kingdom close to its core. Him is dumping petabytes of corrupt core code. On a subtle level, I'm warding off his attacks. Beyond this door is the priest portal. You must cross it. It will lead you to the church of the strange monolith. In this region, you'll find a new creator's memory. To reach the por priest portal, you need to access the techno key. The priests are player programs that keep the portal aligned. They entrusted the key to Baba, an ancient program slumbering near the castle. We pray, brother, because prayer redirects the data flow, stabilizes and synchronizes it with the trichoma. Prayer is algorithmic mysticism, insuable links, chemical electrodynamics, embracing the creator and myriad binary impulses. All right. Techno Algorithm Hall. Look at these, they're playing, playing games and stuff. Welcome Narita boy, the Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the stallions were expelled from the digital kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever return, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them, and of course, a very special hero from beyond the source code to weld it. At the end of the hall, take another elevator that will lead you to the Techno Sword. All right, Techno Sword await. Techno Sword activate. Wasn't that on a, uh... wasn't that VR Troopers or Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad? One of them had a Techno Sword. They're like, Techno Sword activate. So you could definitely feel the atmosphere and the vibe <laughs> in this game. It definitely has a good presentation. It's like, wow, check this out. All right. Where am I going? You gotta, you gotta love that music. Oh, here we go. Press repeatedly, J. This is like Legend of Zelda. Oh my gosh. Techno sword. Am I getting all these into my programming? Oh, okay. Oh man, look at this animation, y'all. I like that attack. W. All right, I guess I'm gonna learn some techniques here, some tools of the trade. This is badass. I'm I'm fucking digging this game already. Shotgun. Push once to activate shotgun and hold down. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm getting okay so you have a a cooldown meter underneath your health bar it looks like that has to fill up oh goodness <laughs> if I was playing on a 
on a controller, I probably would would platform a lot better. It's weird because the options. Wait, the controller suddenly working? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> The controller is suddenly working, so okay, that works out for me. My god. My arms are starting to hurt from pulling him at the keyboard. <laughs> the controller works, I'll take it. Um Did I miss something? Where's... I guess I don't come this way. I just head back? Okay. <laughs> I was like, alright. I, I thought I was going to the right. I will definitely take that. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just died. I really gotta go through all this again. Rest in force. Oh my gosh. I always have a habit in games when I land to always kind of like when I jump to do that, like a left right, I have no idea why I've always done that. Every single game I've ever played, I always have a habit of doing that. Anybody else do that? All right. Do I go this way? No, I think I gotta go back up to that room. I gotta go back up to that room that I was in. To the right, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Yeah, back to this room, right? And there was like a big... A big doorway or something. I'm already lost. I guess maybe let's try downstairs and to the right. Cause I didn't do that. No, I can't go downstairs and to the right. Ugh, as I fall. I do like the combat. Combat's nice. I can get behind the combat. I think I'm heading the right way. There was a bunch of birds and stuff moving. I think I go back to, uh, What in the world? <laughs> Is there a way to see my find Baba get access to the techno key? I did that. Find the creator's totems.
Um, did I miss something? Maybe this way? That's one of something that I need. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna check to the right again. This is definitely a game that I'm gonna sink the teeth into. I'm completely... I wonder how you climb as a... Maybe I gotta go back to that one area where I got the sword. The problem when you play a game early access is that <laughs> you've never seen anybody play it, so you you end up getting lost. I'm going back to where I got the sword. I'm sure I missed something that was overlooked by me. I had to climb up, see? Dodge. LB. There we go, you see? I knew I forgot something. See, I, I overlooked. I reached the first totem. Press X repeatedly. Son of the Trichoma, you reach the first totem. All right. Go. Now I can go back to the Hall of Memories. Got him. Doing it, guys. We are doing it. Whoa, look at this. This is neat. It's like a little history memory. The creator's memories. My name is Lionel Pearl Nakamura. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I come into the world was a very hot one. And the sound of the cicadas 
particularly resonating, but I don't remember that. This is really cool. Nor do I remember that my father was American and that apparently on this day he was particularly troubled by his work. But there's one thing I do remember, an intense light and a voice emanating from it. Gentle voice that sung me a lullaby. Remember my mother among patches of a color. A mosaic of shapes intoning sounds from a faraway dimension. Mommy. Oh, look at the fetus in the background. That's creepy. Whoa, I didn't even see that was a pitfall right there. Skull code. Is this a boss? job whoa I guess I was supposed to dash right there I already forgot that I have a dash oh my gosh <laughs> I suck at video games I'm a fucking joke right there we go let's make a bridge please Oh well. Here, brother, this is access techno key to our garden. Once in the garden, contact the quantum medita meditator. He has a techno key that you'll need. Take the opportunity to meditate with him, transcending, transcending at his side, and walking the path of the trichroma in the light of his luminous code is one of the greatest experiences that the digital kingdom has to offer. New techno key found. I wish I had a freaking bridge right there. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to go back. I guess the garden is all the way back to where I was at. Oh, shoot. I'm going the right way when you see enemies, right? If video games taught me anything, you know you're going the right way when you see enemies. It's awesome, baby! Good thing there's no fall damage. <laughs> that would have sucked if I would have fallen down and took some fall damage right there. Alright. Okay, nothing there. So I think the garden, 
gardens right here. There we go. New area. New area hype. Can I get a hoo Three algorithmic avatars must be activated. The triad as powerful as the trachoma itself will activate the transcriber of the symbols. This machine created by the agents of the capital allows you to transcend to other regions of the code using the power of the transcendent symbols. We call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trachoma's fundamental symbols, the metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. There are always three. Remember, three. One for each beam. So we gotta activate them. What did that do? Well, it definitely opened the door. Garden's pure inspiration, cycles of stress, fragments of anxiety. Are you writing unstable code? Then come down here, connect to the computer and flow. Best lines of code in all the digital kingdom have been written right here. Interesting. We opened that door, wherever that door is at. Climb up anywhere? I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and continue. I think I'm headed the right path. I think I go back up to the priest door. Nope. Wrong way. I thought I was in the other elevator. I gotta go back up. Exit out and get back in that elevator. That's where I messed up at. See, I'm getting lost. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I have to go to the area that's up here by the right. By the right. This area. No? Oh my goodness. What area am I lacking? I'm trying to think. Is there a map? Would the area that I need to go to be... Over here? All right. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's go back down to this room. I don't think I explored the underground part enough. Can't talk to that person again. No. All right.
Well, I did everything I could up here. Unless there's an area that I gotta climb up. Yep. Transcriptors turned off or out of range. So they said there's three. There was that thing I turned on. I turned that on. Um. something right here yep I didn't even see that door did you guys I didn't even see that that was a door right there of course I'm gonna miss that <laughs> No idea what I did right there. The guy was snoring it. I knew how to look up something. <laughs> you saw that? He was making those those symbols. I guess in his breath or his snore or something. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in here. There we go. Let's meditate. It's real hard to see between the background and the foreground where you're supposed to go in this game. So you really have to like explore a lot. Feel the trichoma in every pixel of your idle state. We are nothing more than lines of etheric code in a non-space, non-time continuum. We are computation, eternal inputs and outputs. A light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here, this is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. Oh, nope, nope. It's not where I want to go. I want to go down.
Gotta go back to the to the gardens. Boot ya. I'm doing it, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> Wait, garden. Didn't that say give my regards to her? Visit the gardens? This is the gardens right here, right? Trying to think of where I'm supposed to go. Games like these, <laughs> definitely a lot of backtracking, a lot of exploration, things like that. Maybe now is when I go. like give my regards I don't even remember what he said I thought he said something about the gardens did I miss something or do I go back to this area finally oh my goodness <laughs> I'm gonna go back and talk to that guy See what he says. Yeah, I know, guys. I suck at games. Let's move down. See what he says again. I didn't think I missed it. I thought I knew I got what he said. He said, go find, send the regards, right? I guess I can't talk to him again. Great. <laughs> We'll figure this out. Find Baba and get access. The hell is Baba at? Can I get a... Can I get a hint? <laughs> Video game?
Let's just go back up this way. Just to see. Just to check. Oh my gosh. Because wasn't there an area... Like over here that I hadn't fully gotten to. If I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn there was a a section. <laughs> that fucking little jump. Oh, I start off right here, so I gotta go back all the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm digging the game. I'm just, I always get lost in stuff like this. For sure. Let's check this room. Maybe, maybe Baba's hiding. In here before I do anything. So where, where the hell was I at? I went this way. <laughs> I'm trying to think where I went that I wasn't, that I didn't access yet. There's the three doors with the with the hole. Is that back at the beginning of the of the of the map or like you know honestly a a world map would be good. <laughs> Like a map like Metroid or something? I'm surprised they didn't add that. Kick ass music. Now I'm I'm curious. You know what? Let's go this way. Okay, that says go right. I mean, go left. Oh God. These are like the hardest pitfalls to remember or see. <laughs> like, how are you supposed to remember that you'll fall there or not? Nope. I'm sure as hell lost. I am lost. Hopefully when you guys get the game. And we try it on Game Pass later this week. We will uh, be able to all be lost together. I'm, I'm digging the game for sure though. I love the way the graphics look. Um, the music. The 80s feel and vibe, but boy, is it easy to get lost. <laughs> I just gotta remember little bits and pieces of the map. Maybe I gotta go out of this. I could have sworn it said gardens, but when I checked the gardens, I didn't see everything.
And that other room to the right, right there, didn't have anybody that I could talk to. So do I, do I exit? Again, another pitfall. Is Baba back at the beginning? Like in the actual like area over here that I was at? Holy shit. I think I was right. <laughs> I found Baba. Or at least I found the floppy disk back up. There we go. Access to Baba's cave. Visit Baba. See, I had no indication. They should have like maybe like a marker to tell you which direction. I I was lost. <laughs> sure of it, Naruto boy. I always knew that trichoma would distill its essence in barely 20 pixels of condensed power. In the source code, I read commented lines that made me suspect a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the trichroma. And along with other programs, I've been awaiting you. They call us the believers. But my brothers have flourished in this cave have gradually switched off. Only I, Baba, remain, a program who's always waited you. Before giving you the techno key you're after, I must ask you a favor. Recently, since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious portal event has appeared. Can you help me investigate what it's all about? Maybe we'll have time to stop another outpouring of stallions in this region. We must contain them at all costs. All right, Baba. I'll help you. Boss fight? Yes, sir. Looks like we got ourselves a boss fight. Lord VHS, you are the digital hero. How can him be scared of a sprite no bigger than 20 pixels in size? When I'm done with the hit you, I'll bring him your techno sword. I'll set the table of stallion commanders. You're going to learn the meaning of pain. I'm Lord VHS. One of the barons from the dimensions of horror. Die. Lord VHS. Pretty cool selling boss name. Watch out for that. Did I get him? Wow. That was not that hard. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. Baba, I'm here. Knew it. Lord of VHS, one of him's hitmen, a hybrid stallion program in the depths of the dimensions of horror. Thank you, Narita Boy. Here's the techno key that will give you access to the priest portal. Don't be scared to cross this portal. It'll open the doors to the digital kingdom. Be strong, brother. Rest in power, live in light, maintain harmony, sock it to him and his stallions. Nice. So, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the playthrough there. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with what we have going on here. Um, I can't wait to really sink the teeth into this. I think you guys should definitely check it out as well. Again, I do have a link in the description down below for you guys to check out this game. It is coming on to Game Pass, but it's also out on PC. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming out on the other consoles, but it will be on Game Pass as well. So why don't you guys give it a look-see. Uh, thank you so much for watching as always. I will see you on the next one.